Hey guys, I'm Zen and welcome back to the basement Dino Dungeon. Today I am going to show you my reptiles collection, okay? We haven't seen our reptiles for quite some time, so we will take a look at every single figure together. After that, I'll give you guys some updates on this shelf right here, okay? So are you guys ready? Let's begin. Alright guys, so let's pour all the contents out together because I want to place all of them back into the box to sort of like reorganize them. So are you guys ready? Let's begin. Let's take a look at this figure. This is one of our biggest reptile figures. It is a Komodo dragon. If I'm not wrong, this is actually from Rare Ball. It's a really beautiful one. It actually looks like an actual figure. Plenty of details as you can see, every scale is nicely crafted. Komodo dragons, they are actually venomous, I think so if I'm not wrong. Okay, next, we have a really huge figure right here. This is an alligator and it also has some babies on top of it so you can see alligator babies. When they were born, they actually have stripes. When they grow older, the stripes will disappear. Alligator right here. We're gonna do comparison with crocodiles right now. So crocodiles, you can see, they have a very narrow and triangular snout. You can see this is very pointed as compared to the alligator, which is slightly more rectangular. All right, I'm gonna be putting the crocodiles and the lizards into the left box right here, okay? Are you guys ready? Yep, so here's another one. So this two are basically the same sculpt. Okay, beautiful one. This is a slightly more brownish version. Next, we have a snake. I don't really have an idea what species or what type of snake this is. They basically call it a coit snake, which is Coit into a little circle. Okay, next up, we have a. What is this? Make a guess. Galapagos adult tortoise. A very huge figure. I like this. You can see it has a very long neck. You guys know that tortoise, tortoises like this, like the giant tortoise, they are able to live up to 100 or even 200 years old easily. Leatherback sea turtle, very very adorable. Let's have a look at the leatherback sea turtles. You can see they have a very very unique shell. Instead of having hexagonal shaped like structures on the shell, you can see it actually has hexagonal shapes for this tortoise. But for leatherback sea turtles, they actually have ridges right over here. So we have three of them. One from Peppo, one from Collecte, and one from Safari LTD. I'm gonna be putting the turtles in the box together with the snakes because the box for the lizards is actually too full. Okay, next, what do you have right here? This is a veiled chameleon, and you can see it has a very long tongue, which is also extremely sticky. So it uses the tongue to catch its prey. Next, we have a king cobra. Very, very gorgeous looking. Cobras, they can actually spit venom to up to like seven feet away, which is very, very far. And here's another one, a slightly smaller version. Not a slightly, actually it's quite small. And it's from Safari LTD, 1996 figure. So this figure is quite old. Next, we have another alligator guys, and you can see this is a white alligator, okay? White alligators are actually leucistic, they're not albino. Next, what is this? I can't really remember, so let's have a look. Amazon tree boa, very nice. And here we have another it's a crocodile, I suppose. Doesn't really look like an alligator, so I think this could be a white crocodile. Okay, this is a lizard. I can't remember what is the name, but you can see 
They can actually run pretty fast. Very, very adorable. Yep, it looks like a super cool. It's really, really adorable. I like it. And here we have a. I think this is an iguana. Let's try to find its name on the figure. Every figure comes with a name. It should be right here. Iguana 2010 Safari LTD figure. Okay, next. Wow, this is a huge one. What is this? It looks like a rattle snake. You can see this rattle on its tail. Eastern Diamondback Rattlesnake. This figure is a little bit dirty. I need to clean it up later on, that's for sure. What about this one? This seems to be a rattlesnake as well because of its tail. This should be a sidewinder rattlesnake. Oh, what is that? It's an, an ant. I think there are like some creepy crawlies in my collection. Giant tortoise right here. I'm gonna be putting the giant tortoise with the snakes. And here it's a fruit neck lizard. The batteries are very low, I suppose. Yep, you can see the legs are still moving, but it's not as fast as the other one. And here with a snake, this should be working as well. Let's try to turn it on. Yep, this figure is a snake. Not too sure what is the exact species. It's quite a nice one. And here with a green tree snake. Okay. And this one right here is a fruit neck lizard. And this is actually from Science and Nature. Relatively new figure as compared to some of my older ones. Sea turtle. Let's have a look. 2007. And this is another sea turtle. Sea turtle baby from Safari LTD 2005. Almost 20 years, this figure. Bearded dragon. You guys know how it gets its name. It basically has this little pouch around its face and it makes it look like a beard. So this is why it's known as the bearded dragon. Komodo dragons are perhaps one of the, I would say, some of the animals that actually look like descendants from dinosaurs. So I think they are like the closest thing to dinosaurs, apart from crocodiles. So we have a, quite a number of Komodo dragons in our collection. 2007 Safari LTD figure. I placed this in the wrong box, so I'm gonna put it on the left box. In the left box, another cobra. This is from Collecte, 2008 figure. I love reptiles. Hopefully I can expand my reptiles figures, but it's not easy to find new figures. Boa Constrictor, 2017 Safari LTD figure. This is a coral snake and it is a baby. So coral snakes, they're well known for the colors on his body, the patterns, black, red, yellow, really gorgeous. Here we have another alligator from Safari LTD as well, 2017 figure. Relatively new if you compare to it to if the older ones. This it's an albino Burmese python. If I'm not wrong. Check out the name. Albino Burmese Python 2019 figure. What is this? Seems to be a desert tortoise. Could be, I'm not sure, or it could be a giant tortoise. This is a desert tortoise. So we can do a comparison. Yeah, they look kind of similar. So they might be the same species, desert tortoise. Could be. Okay, what is this? Let's have a look. I think this is the crested gecko. Right. Let's see what else we've got. Another fruit neck lizard. 
collective figure. This is a brown snake. We got this from Australia. Animals of Australia. Gorgeous one. This little snake, I have no idea what it is, to be honest with you. And here we have another small little bearded dragon. Alligator baby, I think. Yep, alligator baby, as you can see, it has stripes on his body, which is similar to the one I've shown you guys just now. Horned chameleon. Another black snake right here, black coit snake. This is the Indian Garrier. It has a very narrow snout. Another crocodile from Science and Nature has been with us for quite some time. This is the Thorny Dragon. So this thing right here is actually like the false head. So it can actually hide its real head be be below it to reveal the false head, to distract the predators. Giant tortoise, I think. Oh, it's actually a Pintar Island tortoise. With a turtle, you can see there's some bite marks from Tutu last time Tutu is mine. Dog. And this is a caiman. It's a very small species of crocodiles. They can be as small as like one meter or even smaller. Cayman right here. 2019 Safari LTD figure. Very nice. A crocodile, okay, so I put it in the wrong box. Crocodile from PNSO. Cam's Ridley Sea Turtle Baby. Nile Crocodile I keep putting it in the wrong box Komodo Dragon 1997 And this is a Veiled Chameleon And it's quite a young one This seems to be a giant tortoise I think so, it could be a desert tortoise. I think it's a giant tortoise. I can't really tell, but I think so. What is this? Let's have a look. Green anaconda. And this is an American alligator. You can see they actually stand very tall. This one, to be honest, not exactly sure what it is. It looks like a thorny dragon. And this is a bearded dragon. Small little bit one. Very cute little ladderback sea turtle. Not from any of the big manufacturers. Call it lizard. Beautiful. You can see this lizard right here has plenty of colors. Orange, turquoise, black stripes, white spots really gorgeous lizard and what is this? let's have a look corn snake haven't seen you for quite some time so I've actually forgotten about your name <laughs> yeah this is actually the mascot of Safari LTD Bernie the Alligator we have a snake right here this is extremely dirty I need to clean it up. I'm gonna take my bad wipes and just brush it down. It's extremely dirty, I'm not too sure why. I'm just gonna clean it. You can see, wow, the amount of dirt on it. So I suggest you should also clean your figures. I need to wash this, I think. You need to wash it. It's too dirty. Too dirty to be cleaned by wet wipes. And this 
What is this? This is a very beautiful crocodile from Papo that comes with a, a movable jaw. This one is a haunt lizard, beautiful one. Red ear slider. This is also kind of um, dirty. Yeah, just clean it. This is not as dirty as the snake. Still, there's a bit of dust on it. Wow, this is a marine iguana. Really beautiful one from Schleich. Like this. I definitely want to get a bigger figure of a marine iguana. And this is a crocodile. Komodo dragon. Alright, so that's about it. So I've shown you guys. Okay, here's another sea turtle. Loggerhead sea turtle. Alright guys, so thanks for watching this. I've basically shown you guys my collection of reptiles. Turtles, lizards, crocodiles, snakes. Yeah, so hopefully you guys like it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.